Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. Anyways, we are out here in my garage, and we are looking at these bizarre things and wondering, what are these? Well, with the whole new craze going on with the Coleman lanterns and the VW buses, this is what people are hanging their lanterns from. They're simple made, really efficient, and as you can see, there's all kinds of different styles. The best thing about them is that they keep things out of the way. You don't have to worry about them getting knocked over. And they're real simple. They just hang from your drip rail. Yes, we use them on buses, but you use them on anything with a drip rail. I've used them on my, my VW Beetle. Anyways, you're not going to need that many. You're going to just need one. And what I did is I did with a quick internet search, I came up with some different ideas from different people who are selling these. And they're all handmade individually. I haven't found anybody that's mass producing. So I was at a car show and I saw a bunch of different varieties, which kind of gave me the idea to really hunt what's out there. So you can see that was a bear claw. This is a rusty Volkswagen bubblehead dude. You know, this is a deluxe microbus. Here's another deluxe microbus with some patina. I saw that one at night, as you can see. And even Empy produced their own. There it is, which was really cool. They made like three of them, gave them away, a couple of them as gifts. Um, pretty awesome looking, nice little metal flake blue color. So I figured why not? Phil ATV should have their own lantern hanger. So there it is right there. So like I said, a quick internet search and, you know, looking around and I found a few different varieties. This was at a recent show. They made this in both female and male. I bought a couple of these when I saw them. I thought they were pretty interesting. Then this is another one that somebody made. As you can see, I have a little hook on the hand, which kind of makes it the lantern hang in a, sec, a different direction, which is kind of cool because it kind of keeps the, the bales out of the way. So I've got a couple of those. This is a guy in Atlanta, I think he was. He's got these online. Um, he's got, again, a boy and a girl. But I can't have just one or two, so you know I had to get a few. In fact, I had to get quite a few. And those actually work really nice. They got little rubber, rubber feet down your drip rail so it doesn't make any scratches. And then we got Jason in Simi Valley. He makes a really great product. Nice finish, has that nice you know raw gritty finish that will eventually turn to patina if you don't paint it. He makes a boy and a girl. He also makes the Hawaiian style. I thought they were really cool. Um, very pleased with the, with his workmanship and the way they sit on the on the bus is really nice as well. So you know, I had to get the boy and girl of each because that's just how I am. You know, then I get the boy and the girl Hawaiian, and I figured that since they had friends, I might as well get a few more because I just like having these things hanging around. Literally, get it? Pun. This one, like I said, this was the cool one that had the little wire piece on it. You know, I had a hook. So there you are. You see the different sizes, the different looks, the different styles. And I imagine there's a few more people out there. And as you can see, they all work the same. They all keep everything around the same height. They look pretty awesome. But like I said, you're never going to need that many of them. One, two maybe, you know, hanging on your bus, holding your lantern. It's pretty cool. I really like them. And there's the money shot. There's the whole group of everybody. It's pretty awesome. I like it. And here's the group shot, money shot in motion. So like I said, these are like, a, I bought them off the internet. They're out there. You could find them. I gathered up a bunch. I'll be reselling them at the next swap meet picnic. And like I said, Filet TV had to have their own lantern hanger. So, of course, my buddy Jason made me up a couple. I'm really pleased. They look really good. He, made, hit, he just nailed my logo. Exactly what I wanted. So I hope this inspires you guys to go out there and search for your own. Like I said, there's they're out there. You just got to look for them. And I will have a handful for sale. 
If you see me at my booth at the spring picnic that's coming up this weekend, hit me up. I'm sure we could work a deal out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave any comments below. I will put, post contact information, but you could always get a hold of me. Thanks for watching. Filet TV, please subscribe.